But there's another part of me that thinks all of us as poets have things we can and can't do, ways in which we can speak productively maybe for our society and ourselves. And I've discovered, I think, as I age, I'm getting to be quite the old guy, uh, that often when I simply try to speak out of some kind of love for individuals, for nature and the natural world, for the environment in which I live, the poems seem to actually touch people in some way, more than when I try to say something I think is important or matters. I don't know. So one of the poems in Dilemmas of the Angels that has had this kind of uh, response, or people has elicited a response that seems to be something that surprised me a little bit, because I thought it's, it's pretty simple, is the very first one. It's called Sunday Morning Early. I'll read that one. Sure. Okay. Sunday Morning Early. My daughter and I paddle red kayaks across the lake. Pulling hard, we slip easily through the water. Far from, other, other, far from either shore, it hits me that my daughter is a young woman. And suddenly, everything is a metaphor for how short a time we are granted. The red boats on the blue-black water, the russet and gold of late summer's grasses, the empty sky. We stop and listen to the stillness. I say... It's Sunday, and here we are in the church of the out of doors. Then wish I'd kept quiet. That's the trick in life, learning to leave well enough alone. Our boats drift to where the cheering of grasshoppers reaches us from the rocky hills, a clap of thunder. I want to say something truer than I love you. I want my daughter to know that through her, I live a life that was closed to me. I paddle up, lean out, and touch her hand. I start to speak, then stop. So it's pretty simple, you know. It's pretty straightforward in some ways, too. One thing that I'd never thought about very much until right now, reading it for you, Tim, is the line where it says um, that I lived through my daughter a life that was closed to me before. Now, a reader, a listener, would have no idea. What is that closure? Uh, was that a uh, a person who had no parents, you know, who was an orphan? Was that a person who was abused in childhood? Was that a person who never knew what life could be through no fault of anyone else but their own limitations? We can't possibly say. And I realize that a lot of what I try to do is find a way to speak something that will be pretty straightforward on the surface of it and yet have layers that go down 